Welcome to the Fabrengen on Matas Masse. Uh, just a heads up, there are three Sikhs this week, but I'm going to be discussing a combination of two, which is a fascinating Sikh that needs to be learned more than once, where the Rebbe discusses the paradox of, on the one hand, we are obligated by Jewish law, and the reality is we're in a sad time. We're in a time where there is a chiyuv, an obligation upon us to mourn for the Golos HaShchina and the Churban Beis HaMikdash. I had the great privilege of officiating a wedding, and uh, at the end of the wedding, I talked about the idea that this world, even though we're at a wedding and we're celebrating, but nevertheless, I use the words, Jerusalem is in ruins and God is homeless. And I received blowback. But how dare I say that Jerusalem is in ruin when you basically can take uh, a, a light rail from a five-star hotel to an air-conditioned shul at the Kaisel. And I realized that we are at AM and FM. It's just different frequencies. And also, I think that they were bothered by my black hat, and black hat lives do matter. But this Sikha which one of them also discusses Misasun Shal Tzadikim is Kisrefa Space Elekeinu and it tells us the day Aaron died. We too live with what my son calls my Gimel Tamas trauma. There are spiritual truths that the tzaddikim and our hiskashus to the Rebbe through learning his sikhs and his maimorim and chasidus and doing what he wants. There is a spiritual truth of yatim mechayoi and there is a material truth that koshem is also in shal tzaddikim. It's a very difficult thing. And the balance, finding that balance, how to be in the sadness during this time, to be in the sadness, but to ensure that the sadness leads not to being dried up and withered, but strength, focus, able to turn that sadness into something that drives us to something positive, is such a subtle ongoing difficult avoider as explained in Tanya it's not denial it's not denial and we feel helpless because seemingly learning about the Beis HaMikdash and learning the Torah of Tzadikim doesn't fill the material void that is in our life. So the Rebbe points out just as a Gershin is Geyer and just as learning about the Karbonos and learning about the Beis HaMikdosh Hashem tells us a spiritual truth that the Beis HaMikdosh is being built that the person is Jewish. It, it is such a a, a a subtle a subtle thought that needs a his boniness and needs to be digested. And I think this is how we can reconcile two truths. One truth is there is a Khurban, and the other truth is that I don't have to live in my Khurban. I have to be sad. I have to be broken so that I will build something else. May we merit the Gaula, Hamitis Vajlema, take her for me out.